Have you been to the airport where the people go to these sky lounges or Centurion lounges where they escape from the hustle and bustle of the busy airport to have a warm meal and be settled down in a comfortable warm environment? Well, in this video, we'll go over two credit cards that allow you access to these exclusive lounges. And then we'll decide if this is, will be right for you. Watch this video to the end to see which ones that I choose that will, will be perfect for me and my family. All right, so what we have here is from USA Today. Uh, as you can see, um, Delta Sky Miles Reserve versus the, the Platinum by uh, Amex. They're both from Amex, but the one's from Delta, one's from um, American Express itself. So it gives a nice breakdown of the annual fees. So obviously the Reserve is a little bit cheaper at $550, and then the Platinum is at $695. So the difference between the two cards is is the benefits you get. So they're both, like I said, both from uh, American Express or Amex, as we like to say in lingo. So both at $550 or $695 per year for the Platinum card. And the different rewards you get. So as soon as you sign up, you don't get these kind of mileages, so be aware. And even I'm a Delta um, supporter and I have my mileage. You, you gotta fly a lot to get these kind of mileages. And they're giving you 84,000, 85,000 miles if you spend six thousand dollars within the first six months of having the card and then american express um, platinum offers for every dollar you spend it's a one to five ratio so for every dollar you get five point membership points you can use to, to toward booking a hotel buying um, airline tickets what have you so make sure you check the american express um, account and backslash travel you want to check on that and APR at this moment right now for the Delta Reserve is 20, 20%. I know it's a little high, but uh, the benefits, uh, if you just pay it off, uh, it outweighs the, the risks and benefits. So uh, if I haven't already, I'm not a financial advisor. You have to weigh your risk tolerance uh, and the benefits that you know that will benefit your situation. So as I mentioned, uh, the Platinum offers $200 airfare fee, which means like um, it's a credit up to... $200 uh, per year for one qualifying airline. So you can use that toward your pick ticket purchase. Uh, you book through their hotel, you get uh, the fine hotels and resort through the Amex um, uh, Platinum. So we talked about Uber Cash, which we can use to uh, use to uh, for Uber rides. And in addition, you can use Uber uh, Eats. So Uber, um, you get about $200 per year, about $12, about $16 per month. And then this is where uh, you, the perks starts to uh, trickle in. So a global entry, which um, allows you, you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up description, how to get into, back in the country from traveling abroad, uh, either to Canada, Mexico, or the Netherlands, come back from other countries and back to the United States. So you can have this fast pass lane. It's just like pre-check, but it's for like foreign um, travel because TSA pre-check is for um, national travel within the United States global entries coming back from other countries that way you fast tracked into the country faster and they give you a uh, four every four years you get a hundred dollar credit for the pre pre check uh, but um, in addition uh, platinum does the same thing here uh, it doesn't show here but it does they do give the same uh, uh, benefits as having the global entry in TSA so both great benefits cards but like i said the biggest issue would be your the six five hundred fifty dollar which is a hundred forty dollar difference i get it but the the benefits as i will go over a little bit more here you get the 250 dollars digital package um credit and that's uh per year as i mentioned and we we, we both uh in our household we do subscribe to audible peacock and uh, disney plus so check your entertainment section on your amex account and then 15% back on any Delta uh, bookings that you do through on the uh, Delta Reserve card. And then also I'm a big fan of Clear. You haven't said that already in my other video. I love Clear. Clear is a, it's one step above PreCheck. If you haven't noticed, PreCheck is pretty cheap, about $78 uh, for five years. So So $78 for five years, that's about, about works out to about $15 per year. So it's good stuff to have, but this clear is one step above um, pre-check. So you actually cut in line in front of people because you're you gone through the 
the biometric checks of the fingerprints and uh, iris scans. So you get to kind of jump the pre-check line and then you get a $155 Walmart uh, credit for the year, same thing. So if you have a monthly subscription, the $155 for the Walmart Plus will pay for itself. A lot of perks. And then of course, we, when I alluded to at the beginning of this um, video, we talked about having access to these lounges. So the Delta Reserve offers the Delta Sky Club um, free access. And then um, any affiliates, um, affiliated uh, Delta flights, you can also take advantage of that. And then people that don't have the Delta Reserve, like your loved ones, uh, then you can pay an extra $50 per person, up to two guests, to access the Sky Lounge. However, in the Platinum Edition, you get the American uh, Centurion Lounge, uh, the Global Lounge, Airspace Lounge, and Priority Pass Select Membership. Um, so when they say enrollment is required, it means you just have to go on their MX account and just say, I want uh, Priority Pass Select. That way you get to access these type of lounges. And if you book through the American Express Travel Fine Resorts, you can also click on Hilton Honors and uh, Marriott and then you get upgraded automatic, automatically to Gold Elite. So great uh, uh, crowd to have, and but you don't have that in the uh, American Delta Reserve. So you don't have none of that. Same goes with the rental cars. You don't get any of the rental car benefits for having the Delta Reserve card versus the uh, American Express Platinum. You get access to the national Emerald uh, executive status, so you get bumped up to executive status, um, and you get bumped up to Avis preferred, uh, and then my time favorite Hertz Gold Plus. So if you're Hertz Gold Plus uh, rental, you know what I mean. You know, I'm talking about you get to cut rental line, line. There's a name plaque before you. You just go straight to the car. No need to stop at the counter. It's great to have. I do have Hertz uh, app, and I have I'm a member with them to also. I do travel at least uh, twice a year with my family, uh, usually flying. I don't like driving, it just takes too long. So there you have it in a nutshell. And we'll look at different um, articles out there that will cover purchase price, uh, purchase protections up to $10,000 um, using any of these cards, so both offer both. And then the global um, assistance with any of those. So I got this from Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet, if you're watching these channels, Hit your brother up. All right, here we go. So in a nutshell for Nerd Wallets, um, they just kind of detailed it very simply. Uh, annual fee of 550 as we agreed with the other article from USA Today. And then the, the, the points I, I mentioned to, uh, for every dollar you spend, you get 500 membership points. Again, if Forbes, if you're watching these videos, hit your boy up. We'll connect, we'll make some affiliates, we'll make some things happen. All right, so Forbes kind of puts it in a side by side or side by each, they say in New England. So side by each, they have a American Express Platinum and then you have the reserve next to each other. Uh, Forbes is rating at 3.4 out of uh, five stars, uh, maybe because of the price. And then the Delta Sky Miles Reserve, um, it's about five out of five. Definitely a win if you're utilizing these cards appropriately. So which one did I choose? If you haven't figured it out, I'm gonna go with the America Express Platinum and then in the next clip, I'll show you how I apply for that. So here we are at the America Express site. I'm actually logged into my account. There's a different America Express cards that they have with Delta. So you got the Delta Platinum Gold and you have different uh, earning points, 30,000 uh, points if you, as soon as you sign up. So like that, it's very hard to get these kind of mileage if you just to, for sign up, they give you 30 to 20,000 mileage points. It's a, I think it's a great deal. So the Sky Miles Platinum and Sky Miles uh, American Gold. And then if you can't see it off to the screen a little bit, there's the Del American Express Delta card we talked about earlier. Again, I'm still logged into my account here. I have the American Express Platinum uh, for $6.95 per year. So uh, the different um, styles you can have, the classic, the flowery. So you can design your own card here. And like I said, you get $200 hotel points booking through um, American Express Travel and then Walmart Plus. You can use it for Uber Eats and Uber Cash. So definitely a lot of perks to this card for sure. And if you're a fan of Equinox, you give it $300 per year. And here's my all time favorite, $89 for clear every five years. So I think great card to have. Click apply. 
So fill out your personal information and then we'll go over the terms and conditions of this card. It's about 21% right now as of this recording. And then it's based on credit worthiness, of course. And I do have to say that I did read somewhere it's actually easier to apply for a higher tier card if you already have a card with them, which I already have. I have the Delta uh, Sky Blue with them. And uh, membership is $6.95. Um, any late fees, uh, about up to $40 for late fees. I'm going to fill out my personal information and then uh, we'll come back. And boom, just like that, they approved me. It's amazing, folks. My car will be in the middle of this recording in August 1st, which is about takes about two days. I did this over the weekend. And we got it. Oh, yeah, we got it. I also have an affiliate link with America Express. So make sure if you're gonna sign up for America Express News, put a link in the description below. It helps to support the channel, and I really appreciate you doing that. If you like these type of videos, we'll talk about personal finance and cost savings. We did both today where we looked at uh, personal finance using credit cards and cost savings where we use our credit cards to help pay for our daily expenses, including Uber Eats, Hulu, Disney Plus, and having access to these lounges where we can have a warm meal with our family. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Leave me a comment below. Listen, you're watching these videos because you believe personal finance is achievable. And I appreciate every single one you watch these videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bam, just like that, it came in the mail in two days. So let's open it up. So there it is, it came in a box. Let me rip this open. It's open. Nice little felt feel to it, flat. Woo wee! Looks very pretty.